We can't know for sure that Audi took the Q8 concept that debuted at this year's Detroit Auto Show and simply threw on a new coat of paint, gave it new bumpers, and stuffed a trick-powered rain into its nose, but that's all it would take to create this orange Q8 Sport concept, the Sport moniker is new. It is all but identical to the original Q8 concept, with a few key exceptions. That engine, and electric motor, and electric compressor, both vehicles preview the Q8, a coupe variant to be built on the Q7 SUV platform. The Detroit show car was a plug-in hybrid combining a 333-horsepower turbocharged V6 and a 134-horsepower electric motor generator integrated with the transmission, total output, 443 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque, whereas the Q8 Sport revealed in Geneva gets more adventurous and inventive intending to preview the SQ8 performance model. For starters, the Q8 Sport is a fairly basic hybrid, with no allowance for plug-in charging, that uses a smaller, lighter 0.9 kWh lithium-ion battery pack to deliver electric assist via a transmission-mounted electric motor during acceleration as well as brief spurts of electric-only driving. It also employs the stored electricity to power a compressor mounted in the intake plumbing thus cancelling any lag by providing instantaneous boost. This technology is better known as an e-charger or electric supercharger, and it's something Audi has been pioneering for a few years now, after gracing RS5 TDI prototypes. The trick is in production on the European market SQ7 diesel SUV. Between the electric motor, generator and the transmission and the e-charger boosted V6, the Q8 Sports powertrain packs 476 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque, the latter figure matching the plug-in hybrid Q8s. The electric motor contributes less than 30 horsepower to the party, the e-charger responsible for a moderate boost in output over Audi's 450 horsepower twin turbocharged V6. The e-charger not only sharpens the turbo engine's response, but it helps the V6 run at lower speeds by boosting low RPM torque. This means that the Q8 Sport, Audi says, can avoid unnecessary downshifts during relatively sedate driving situations. The good news is that this powertrain is on its way to production autos soon, including the SQ8 Performance version of the SUV coming later this year or early next year.